Google Search Console page indexing issues. What they are, how to approach fixing them. In this video session, we're going to look at page with redirect issues. Let's press on the problem. Here, first thing to do, check all submitted pages. If you want to avoid uh, wasting time using Search Console, you want to make sure the sitema sitemaps that you've submitted contain the URLs you want Google to index. So then, in my example, there is no problem with page redirect. I could also look at unsubmitted pages to say, hmm, these are not submitted, so I can ignore these. But since this video session will show you how to approach fixing and troubleshooting page with redirect issues, let's go and explore some examples. Let's press on a sample URL. Here, Search Console gives you tools such as Inspect URL. That is URL inspection tool. Okay, so we can access that tool through this link here as well. Here it's telling us, you know what? This problem URL is not on Google. And here the report tells us how Google seen it, has discovered the URL, the crawl status. All these can often be useful when identifying any page indexing problems, okay? And in this example, most website owners may actually see user declared canonical. At that moment, I can tell myself, you know what? That's okay. There is no problem with redirection. Because obviously this URL pattern, I do not want Google to index. Having said that, since you're watching this to learn about how to fix the problem, then what you want to do is you want to ask yourself, is the URL patterns on my website set up correctly? Especially the URLs in your sitemaps. Let me show you what that, that, that means. Let's open the sitemap. Here, this URL pattern should be consistent on your website because this is a sitemap you're telling Google you know what Google this is the map of my website and if the URLs on your sitemap are different to the URLs anywhere on your website then obviously Google's going to have redirection problems so therefore depending on the content management system that you're using you may want to check your posts, your products, your image URLs to ask yourself, hmm, okay, let's go with something like this. Let's go with okay, the latest course that I've created because of the latest Google changes. So now looking at my web page or blog post or product, you should check for any variants of your website URL structure, whether you're using dub 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 or non dub dub dub, because this is the common scenario. That means if my website had URL patterns like this, then they would cause redirection problems. That also includes URLs without HTTPS. So, I don't know what type of content management system you're using, whether you're, you're using Shopify, whether you're using Blogger, whether you're using Wix. Simply download your website and then look for URL patterns because I can promise you that this is a common problem. Because sometimes you're using apps that uses incorrect URL patterns and when Google visits the landing page it sees the incorrect pattern 
and it gets redirected elsewhere. And then we have the problem in Search Console. Then, depending on your website, content management system, you want to make sure that the URL structure of the sitemap URLs are consistent throughout your website. That actually includes image URLs as well, or any URLs that's within your own website. External URLs you have no control over. There are actually tools that you may use for free to check redirection of your website. Because let's imagine the correct URL pattern was with dub dub dub, then the final destination should be that. Another way to check is simply visit your own website and either remove or add the dub 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 to see what happens when you do that. Does it get redirected? Hmm, that gets redirected. So that's okay in my example. But if yours didn't, then that could cause page with redirect issues in Search Console. Another one is you can remove the S and request your website to see does the SSL redirect correctly. If it doesn't, then that's to do with your web server settings. That means you may need to log into your web hosting account and look for, where is it, where is it? Web hosting cPanel redirection rules. Also, since I'm covering many different troubleshooting scenarios, on your web hosting, you may have a file called .hdxs file for websites built on Apache. If that's the case, you want to double check any redirection rules within that file. Finally, depending on the content management system that you're using, whether it's plugins, whether website themes, may use PHP redirection rules. So you want to check them as well. Now, I've tried to cover many different angles. And although I'm trying to simplify how to fix this particular persistent problem, page with redirect can occur due to hundreds of different reasons. Because each website is different. Each content management systems and the plugins and apps being used may you know, have different settings for URL redirections. Above all else, what you can do is visit your own website, web page, problem page, press on F12, look at network tab, request the URL, and then press on the URL itself. And here you can look at header response codes to see, is it 200 okay? That's okay. But if you see anything else, whether it's 300, 301, then there is a redirection issue that could be related to your web server or website theme settings. One way or another, any page with redirect issues for all submitted pages must be fixed or else the URLs won't show up in Google. I'm creating a brand new updated playlist on YouTube that will cover all page indexing issues. Also, Rank Your Website will create a new blog post whereby you can comment if you're experiencing page indexing problems for your own website. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.